Hello everyone. Today, we're making Mickey waffles. So in our house, Mickey waffles are the best kind of waffles. So everything's ready to go to start, including my glorious Mickey waffle maker. He is beautiful. It has the Mickey face on one side, opens up, has three um, waffle slots, I guess. Um, closes, he just rotates. Um, it's got the other print on the other side. Opens up so you can make six in one, which is pretty awesome. Not many waffle makers do that. This guy actually wasn't available in Canada, but I made it happen because I wanted him so bad. Jose's making me Mickey waffles! So obviously you can do any kind of topping you want, but when I make Mickey waffles, I like to just go all out and do whipped cream and a simple blueberry compote. So that's what I'm gonna do. Feel free to do what I do or add syrup or whatever you want. So first step I do, obviously I just added some whipping cream and I'm just gonna blend that up. So I don't understand, is this bowl like cold or something? How do you whip the cream? Oh, it's cold. Yeah, so I actually, you don't have to do this, but I put my bowl and the whisk in the freezer for a little bit. Mm -hmm. It just helps it um, beat up and get super creamy. Um, not necessary, but you can. And then also, once it's gone for a couple seconds, I add like a little bit of sugar. Um, also not necessary, but it's just, just want a bit of sweetness. Who's in there? And I clearly just covered mine. There's some pieces you can do that with, but I just cover, cover mine with a towel so we don't make a mess. The machine's pretty cool. Not gonna lie. Me, I'm on coffee duty. Just gotta make the coffees. While the mixer is going for the whipped cream, I line a large saucepan with blueberries and just a splash of water and then I stick it on about a medium heat. I'll I obviously end up turning that down as it starts to cook. I'm on dish duty. So my blueberries are starting to cook down a little bit. The whipped cream is done and I just transferred it to another bowl because I'm going to need the mixer again in a little bit. And of course it is a Mickey bowl. Mm. Skills. Next step is starting on the batter. I'm just separating my eggs. I'm using the stand mixer for my whites and I'm adding the yolks to another bowl. Two eggs. I never knew that was a thing. Hmm, that one broke. Beat the egg whites on high until hard peaks form. So now those are done. We have some nice stiff peaks. Mm. So now we take our egg yolks and about a tablespoon of sugar, and just blend that a little bit. Vanilla. Just a splash. Then I'm adding two tablespoons of melted butter, which has been cooled to room temperature. For our dry ingredients, we have a cup of flour, a teaspoon of baking powder, and a quarter teaspoon of salt. Mix her up. While that's going, I add a half a cup of milk. Once I have this nice, like, kind of thick pudding consistency, I'm going to fold in my whipped egg whites. Make some nice and fluffy. Mmm, fluffy! Important that you fold and not just mix, because then you will lose that fluffiness. I've never folded an egg in my life. So is this the actual recipe for Mickey waffles from Disney World? No. No? No, they use like a special, you can actually buy that, but it's like a special batter. It's a dry mix you can buy, but this is just like, honestly, I've made a lot of waffles in my life, and this is honestly the best recipe. So are these better? Well, yeah. no, not better than Disney. Uh, but uh, uh, uh. What do you think? I don't know. I don't know. We'll find out. They're very, very good waffles. You could use any waffle maker, but we fancy. Yeah, you don't need to use a Mickey waffle maker to make this waffle recipe. The blueberries are looking real good. They're nice and welted down. We turned it to a medium low. I'm actually going to turn it even lower. 
um, because they're almost at where we want them to be and we're not done cooking, so. Ahead of schedule. Yeah. And I'm back on dish duty. So we got everything ready to go. Our batter is looking nice. It's all folded together, looking good. So now we can go ahead. I, you can, there's a few different ways you can do it. Sometimes I use a spoon, sometimes I use a two tablespoon cookie dough scoop. Kind of want to play around with how much batter you want. They can be troublesome because you got to get to the ears, which the cookie scoop kind of makes it easy to spread around. Make sure you don't overfill. I just kind of push it into the cavities. Close her up. Look to the other side. Look how good those look. Mm. And now for the big reveal. Ooh. If I'm making a lot, sometimes I'll put them on a baking sheet and just stick them in the oven at 200 just to keep them warm as they are cooking up. Now to plate, we'll take our Mickey waffles, take a good amount of our blueberry compote on each one. Oop. And then do a nice little dollop of whipped cream. However much you want. And boom, there we go. Looks good. How good do those look? Fantastic. All right, let's dive in. Hmm. Nice. Very good. Thank you. Well, there you have it. Some awesome Mickey waffles. One of our favorite breakfasts to have. It's a little bit time consuming, but well worth it. I can't make it, but she can. Yeah. So. Whether you have a Mickey waffle maker or just a regular waffle maker, try making these. They're fantastic. Yeah. So remember to like, subscribe, stay tuned. And bye for now.